So we know the factory Jeep fuel pump puts out about 40 PSI and we need to see closer to 60 on the LS engine. I just want to point this out before we look at the kit. Depending on the engine that you're swapping, your fuel rail, mine has a fuel return. So I had to buy a special kit for mine, but they do also sell the one without the fuel return. So this kit right here from Novak will actually modify uh, the fuel pump to allow it to put out closer to 60 PSI and also integrated a return line that we're going to have to drill into the housing. So I need to pull the regulator off. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put a screwdriver on that lip and then pull it out and lift it up to get it off. Yeah, that's all you do. Slide her out. Slide that tab off. Carefully. So I got the fuel sending unit fuel pump on my table. Now this only applies removing this if you're doing the fuel return. If you don't have a fuel return on your LS motor, you would just leave this intact in the tank, pop the top ring off, push that in, and away you go. But since I have to drill a hole through here to put this return, this is the process. This is a lot more work than if you just had fuel pressure going in, no return. So now we gotta figure out, gotta put our hole some around here but you got to be careful on the back side want some ribs need a flat surface you got to be careful where you're going to drill so this is where we go down the rabbit hole you look for locations where you can drill and ideally it would be right up top where i marked it in black but that's not going to work too well because i'm too close to this bracket right here is perfect but there's some raised lettering there and that's why we're going to use this form of gasket we're going to drill a 1 8 hole step our way up to half inch goop the heck out of it let her set up before we stick her back in washer and then the nut <sighs> says it's fast drying so I'll let that set up before we reinstall it Now I got my new pressure regulator, ready to drop her in place. 
Now, I got some assembly lube. I'm just gonna lubricate up the O-rings. So you don't really wanna put them in dry and damage them. Make sure you have the felt on there. It should just pop into place. I pushed it down. It seems to be flat. Let's put this retaining ring back on. And that snapped down. Hold it in place. This procedure that I showed you is only for if you're running a return line. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. At this point, you just install it, run your fuel lines. Now, of course, you guys are probably gonna wonder what I'm gonna do with the fuel lines. That'll be in a later video as I do the fuel lines on my LS swap. So stay tuned to that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is how I ended up routing the pressure because the line's so long and then my pressure lines right here is that I kind of pushed the fuel filter back in towards there, looped it around so the hose isn't being kinked, zip tied it to the other lines and then looped to there and then the fuel return comes down to here where I'm going to feed a new line.